So here are a couple of updates. I got a new haircut and look like basically every 17 year old right now. And second update, I had a meeting with my accountant this morning, AKA my mom, and we went over all the documents I have. Because one of the things apparently you gotta do when you have a business is you gotta collect receipts and all that paper stuff. And you know, you know, I don't, why do you do that exactly again? So you can do a tax, what's that thing again called? Tax? Taxes. Taxes. <laughs> So you can do taxes and stuff. You can pay taxes. So you can pay taxes and stuff and we always want to do that. So yeah, we did that this morning. It was a lot of fun. One more update. We just booked the bus to um, Brussels. When are we driving, Jay? Well, well, we're not driving. Well. Oh, we're not driving? No, we're riding a bus. Oh, okay. I thought we were driving it. No. We're... Oh, that's not how it works? No, you don't oh, ride okay. the bus. You sit, on, you sit on a, in a seat, uh -huh. on the bus, you sit on a seat in the bus, and there's a chauffeur that drives the bus. It's a designated driver for the bus? Yeah. What the hell? I thought we, we just rotate, and everyone gets a turn. Like, all of the, the people in the bus, it's just like, your turn for 10 minutes, now it's my turn for 10 minutes. No. That's not how it works? No. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. When are we going there? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Ricky. Prepare yourself. You said that in a very insinuating way. I just meant you should make the beds and, you know, get everything done. Maybe put out some food for us when we arrive. Yeah, what else would I mean? Early. You know, isn't it interesting how our mood is affected by things we don't even know that affect our mood? So I was just working. Um, and it's not that I felt sad or anything, but I felt... I don't know what the exact word for that feeling is, but I wasn't like, woo! let's go you know um not that but also not extreme um and so i just did three things i turned on some music while i play uh, while i work i actually turned up the blinds because i don't know for what weird reason it is but it is 30 degrees right now in bremen in mid of september i don't know what happened but i turned down the blinds so my like room doesn't get all hot but that also meant I was sitting in the dark and I made myself some coffee. No sugar involved, so it's not the sugar. But I don't know what of these three things or if it's a combination of these three things, music, coffee, and light. But life's good right now. Let's get back to work. So one of the things I realized pretty early on with the um, new kind of list I started to do where I break down my day into hours um, is that I'm putting in way too many short tasks. So you can see it's pretty much like, like split into one hour tasks. Like there are a couple of like longer tasks. Um, but that means that there are a lot of things that it's not, it's not that short tasks, like obviously I think there is good reason to have both to have a period of time where you have a lot of short tasks, like for example, going through your email. I don't, I don't yet get so many emails, so that's for me like anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes of work to go through my email, so that's a short thing. To, you know, um, reach out to people or to, let's see, answer comments or to, um, what a shorter task to, you know, like smaller things that you have to do bunch all of these things up and just have a longer block of time where you don't necessarily say first this first this first this but just say like okay two hours of time and i want to get the small things done but then i think what i'm yet still doing wrong and what i'm going to implement from now on is blocking off like big blocks of time anywhere like i'm thinking like three to four hours like four hours um for only one task and actually get really deep with it. Um, let's see what have I written down here. So like one session where I really want to go deep with Facebook ads and offline events. And um, because if I just block off an hour of a time, I'm only getting to the surface and I'm completely confused. And once I'm at the stage where I'm like, oh, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm understanding what this is, what what's going on, the next task. And so, I think I'm gonna um, split my day up into 
a large task in the morning where I just get deep work done um, and then have a bunch of like smaller tasks that get done later in the day. That's my thought process right now, you know. Um, what else has I been doing, have I been doing? I'm, I've been doing client work, been doing some work for the LinkedIn stuff. Um, and gonna continue this. I have a client call later today. I have a catch up call with Sir Willie Morris later today. And uh, still rocking the new haircut. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I think I look very sleek, but I also look um, basically like I looked. Let me guys actually show you something now that I think of it. I wanna show you guys the photo, how I looked when I went to high school. When I graduated high school, archive pictures, me, there we go. Look at that stir. That's me. That's me with 17 years old. There's no difference. God fucking damn it. I wish the beard. I really wish the beard game was were stronger. Well, actually, you know, it's. Still, God damn it! Now I lost my pen. Now I gotta get up, have to walk over there, which is like. It went somewhere there, so what is that? Maybe a meter. I have to get up, walk a meter, and then I probably even have to kneel down to find the pen. It's all good, fam. Okay. But you guys understand if I now have to, you know, make a break with this vlog right now because, well, I got shit to do right now, okay? We're gonna see each other soon. A healthy ice cream. Healthy ice cream. Healthy. Healthy ice cream. No sugar. No sugar. Ice cream and... So yeah, my mom made um, ice cream. What's in there, mom? What what's in there? Uh, fruit, um, stevia, and and egg white. Egg white. So it's basically like the snow stuff we ate, except it's not snow. It's creamy. How is it? Mhm. Mm it's really good. So also, I needed um, a second screen for some work I needed to do. I have a second screen, but the problem is, um, I got. A MacBook and these things they only literally have one plug <sighs> I don't know oh, what Apple. that did that yeah it's Apple <laughs> so I couldn't connect my screen because I don't have the adapter from that to HDMI but what we do have is Apple TV so now I have my computer screen it's a bit obnoxious you know it's um it's I like that setup though did. the whole view yeah that's how I'm gonna work now. Got my ice cream here. And it's actually kind of cool. We brought in this table. My mom's probably very happy to have this in her living room right now. Uh, <laughs> she agrees. We're leaving. Mm. <laughs> but, um, but we're also leaving tomorrow, so. We are so happy. She's, yeah. They're so happy. How happy are you? Mm. I'm <laughs> really <laughs> very excited. I just got off a call with uh, Sir Willie Morris and I gotta say it is helpful to have some people around that are, you know, kind of further along the way of the journey and already went through some of the experiences you are about to go through. Um, so, you know, it's always nice to have these people around to ask for advice. I mean, also Jay sometimes has some smart things to say. But, you know, so um, I guess that's what people call mentors, 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 you know, mentors, mentors, yeah. Oh, no, Willie is a mentor. You're not a mentor. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're kind of big brother, the big brother who always drinks. What's wrong, Jay? Why are you not drinking today? I don't drink every day. Well, you drink every day except once so far. Which 
exactly it's not everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Not. Um, I went shooting guns today, so. But I mean, I I feel like I read it so often that people suggest finding yourself, finding yourself. You should be finding yourself a mentor. Is that the right English? Finding yourself a mentor, mentor. Dude, you don't have to find a mentor. A Dude, mentor. that's what I'm getting into right now. I'm just asking for. See, he's mentoring me right now on how to use the English language. No, um, but I think, you know, it's not whether you call them mentors or not, but it's surround yourself with people who are just like two steps ahead of you and your journey. Um, that already helps massively. I actually think there's more value in finding someone who is only like one or two steps ahead than someone who's like five miles ahead or whatever the equivalent is in that metaphor because then you can actually relate more, you know, and you get more actionable advice on your current situation. Those are my two cents on it. But you know, I, I don't know anything, right huh? So I just wish I had my camera right now. Why your camera? Because it's, it's such a great photo right now. Oh, this is a great photo? Mm -hmm. Well then go run and get your camera. Go Jay. You can't this miss out on a great like photo. Now we're gonna wait here for, for a great photo to be taken. Um, but yeah, you know, surround yourself with, I think the biggest value actually, and I think, um, wh what's that guy's name? Um, Scooter, Scooter Brown? Scooter Brown, the guy, yeah, Scooter Brown is his name. Um, I fucking love that guy. But um, one of the things he says often is, what people don't realize, the people you need when you come up or the people you need when you kind of like made it are the people that come up with you together, you know? It's not the people who are already successful, like they're living in their own world. They have their friends around them that, and they have their network of people who are, you know, on that stage in life, on that, you know? So surround yourself with people who are at the same stage as you. That's like 80% of the people you should, should surround yourself with. And then the other 20% are for people who are, you know, a couple of step, steps ahead before you, who can, you know, guide you on some things. And now he got his camera to take the shot. So where do I hold my phone? The way you were holding it before. Okay, I think I hold it here. Now I'm just going to pretend as if I actually talk because, well, if I just stare into the, um, you know, if I just don't do anything now we don't get the actual authentic photo and you know that is how instagram photos in the end are being taken you know you just pretend as if you actually talk to the vlog while you just ramble on about random things i mean considering that you said you need to that is basically you were talking huh well i was finished with my topic i got my point across otherwise i would be continue talking about that but i got my point across so now i'm just making up something for the sake of making something up, just because, you know. Well, you don't but, have to make things up, you can find something else to talk about. Well, but then it's arbitrary too, Jay. Like, you can always pretend to be talking about something deep. Like, I can Google something right now no, and just say, you like, you know, life deep. is actually, you know, it's just an illusion, dude. Like, what is this thing we call life even? Like, if you, dude, I'm so high. I mean, if you think about it, like, People are just like, you know, small little ants on this big blue ball we call planet Earth. But in the end, it just doesn't matter, you know? It, it doesn't matter. So, you know, you might as well be a good ant and a cool ant and do something cool. Because, you know, with all the ants out there, it's pretty hard to stick out as an ant. You know, they all look the fucking same. And it's the same with humans, if you think about it. We're also average. The average person is pretty average. So, you know... Well, would you consider yourself an average person? Well, in many things I am average. In some things I'm not. Such as? What other things I'm average at? Mm -hmm. my, my, my height is actually exactly average. I'm 1 meter 78. And that is exactly the average height for a male in Germany, an adult, a male adult in Germany. 
it's exactly 1 meter 78. So I'm pretty average with that. You didn't like that shot? No. Isn't the light pretty bad in here? It is. Yeah. Are we done now, Jay? My arm is getting weak and I'm not even coming up with things to be coming up with. Yeah. We're done? Yeah, I mean, I was done a while ago. Oh, okay, cool. Then we're actually gonna end the vlog on this. Um, I'll probably cut most of this out because, well, it depends on how much content I have for this vlog. If I don't have anything, I'm just gonna include it because, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have content. I don't even think you vlog a lot today. Huh? Like, you didn't do much today. What do you mean I didn't do much no, today? No, no, for the vlog. Are you shitting on me? No, no, right? for the vlog. Like, yeah. I mean, this was really a, like, sit down, but I feel... Like you did a lot today. You actually did a lot today. I actually did a lot today. Yeah. I, I really feel good about this day. I mean, look at this list. Look at it. Too. It's kind of nice. A lot of things are crossed off. Um, yeah, this was a productive good day. And it's not over yet. Now I'm gonna cook dinner. It's almost 10 p.m. And then I'm gonna edit the vlog from yesterday and export and upload it. So my friend Ricky. Some more we're going tomorrow. Oh yeah, they know. Yeah, they know. We already told them that we're going to Brussels. You guys know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna edit that. I'm gonna upload that. And then I'm gonna go to bed and peace. You wanna say bye? Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why?